Hey guys, welcome back. On this episode, we're gonna show you firsthand what it's like to actually grind down internal chain plates on our boat, a Slocum 43. It's a pretty dirty and messy job, as you can see, and uh, we have to ten off both sides, the port and starboard side, and make a massive mess of the boat. Oh yeah, we're also simultaneously grinding down her hull and getting her down to bare fiberglass where we can and realize that we're going to have to take the entire bottom down to bare fiberglass. This is no small undertaking. And we also take out our chain and we begin to remark it. Uh, that was a bit of a heavy load, no pun intended. And yeah, just general boat work going on in this episode. So join us, grab a beverage, and uh, let's get into it. Suspect. You are suspect. <laughs> you can see behind me a huge portion of this job on the starboard side is now done. We have disassembled cabinetry. We have taken off the uh, beautiful teak slot trim that is in the back. And uh, a big portion of our uh, wood that goes right here as well. Uh, so our thought process is we're going to try to grind through here. So we didn't have to remove this. Because this would be a, another massive undertaking to remove and just didn't want to try to do it if you didn't have to. And so the biggest reason that we did this is right here. You can see that wiggling. We have a clear cut break right here at our chain plate. Um, that's 1987, so definitely time for chain plates to be redone. And the unfortunate thing is this boat, like an island packet, has them beautifully fiberglassed into the hull. Uh, probably a great thing at the factory in Taiwan. But now we are the uh, very lucky ones to have to redo it. So tomorrow is going to be a grinding day. While I am on the other side, port side, disassembling and getting ready to do the same thing. So I think all in all, we're going to be able to get this project done before we leave. And uh, hopefully go home with the chain plates so we can have them either remade in the U.S. Or check a uh, fellow machine shop around the corner here in Marina Chiapas, Mexico, and see if we can get them remade here, which would be totally fine with us too. But either way you look at it, these guys are gonna be coming out and they are gonna be replaced. And that way all of our rigging from the top to the bottom is within a couple months brand new. So massive undertaking. Um, and none of us have done this job before. So. If you're watching, you can do it. Just study up before. Make sure you're meticulous with the uh, labeling of parts. Um, I'll show more of that later. But it's, uh, I'm, I'm excited. I think uh, we've made great progress in about six and a half hours that we've been doing this. So, yeah, I think uh, it's about time I join the boys for a margarita pool, um, relax for an hour, and then come back and get back on it because. We have to be done in the yard by seven. Those are new rules here in Rayon Chiapas. Uh, work can start at 5 a.m., but you gotta be off the boat by seven. So we're putting in long days. Long days mean lots of margaritas.
hell of a lot closer I think, than we were. I think if I pull this, and if you grab that side, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's a hell of a lot more uh, solid than the other one. Yeah. There she goes. Is out. Doom. So. Just leave a Travis on market. Not that we won't know, but. I'm not going to worry about marking this guy. Okay. None of that even looks wet. No, this looks nice. God. This, on the other hand. You see the rust straining from the chain plate there on the bottom? Yeah, I'm curious. Ooh. Bit of corrosion. But. Yeah, that might one. Hmm. Yeah. That might have a solid break. That's not. A good sign to see all that rust drizzling down at all. And that's a main, that's a big one. And this one's a bit rusty there. How are you feeling? I'm feeling glad that uh, that part's out. Yeah. That's how I feel. Me too. What are we doing, Jason? We are putting up a tent. <laughs> a plastic tent. My friend Ashley said she wanted a new fort, so we're building one. <laughs> yeah. We got to do some grinding in here, so. We got the uh, starboard side and the port side ready for uh, grinding pretty soon tomorrow, I'm thinking. It's about. 90 degrees outside, it's hot, and uh, we're happy to be inside at the moment. But yeah, just getting this together. Let's see what Travis is doing. Travis is in a hole. Travis is in a hole. Oh, it's bright. Travis? Yeah. You want to pop your head out and tell us what you're doing? Uh, yeah. Give me a second. I need to get out. He's in that hole. Oh yeah, I cut my finger. <laughs> that was rather exaggerated. No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm taking apart everything that holds the uh, rudder in place. Uh, this being uh, one of the hose clamps on a very rusty falling apart hose which keeps water out uh, on the rudder post. Uh, this one looks nice. The one I took off before this was all rusty. And uh, yeah, trying to uh, see if there's anything we really need to replace. This is of course an area that if there's something bad would uh, really suck while sailing. So You have a very interesting lower half for your body. Uh, you got a boat body. Yeah, it's uh, half man, half boat. Yep. Not quite sure what that is. <laughs> it's not a centaur. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're, we're getting plastic up down here. Nice. Yeah. Oh, well, um, it's good to stand up for a second. Yeah. I'm like in a fetal position in not a good way. <laughs> hey, this is okay. Hey. A lot of plastic. A lot of plastic. <laughs> Indeed.
out. Yes and no. I gotta get it to move this way. Okay, so going to check the work. Um, after we've gotten the chain plates out of this uh, Slocum 43, 1987 was her year to be built. This is how they laid up these chain plates back then. Pretty freaking thick, as you can see. Um, on the starboard side, which is what this is, we had one that had broke completely. When we started to take it off, not even broke, but it was broken. Uh, the other two seemed actually decent, but a fair amount of pitting and rust. So it's still a good thing that we uh, removed them. And uh, this guy here actually drained out a ton of water. Um, that's just dust and water on the bottom there. You can see the kind of the trail of where the water was coming from. So this chain plate here was holding a ton of water at the bottom. Um, it did not have weep holes at the bottom either. So we are gonna be redesigning a little bit, uh, mostly sticking to the manufacturer's make. But what we're thinking is to um, cut at the first T, not do the second T and put an external backing plate um, on the back, on the hull to uh, widen the load, spread the load, and it'll be below the, um, the rub rail. So yeah uh full project mode right now it's been intense time for a margarita look at all that dust Holy. oh yeah we're getting there oh and uh this is what the uh port side looks like we're gonna be doing the same thing kind of surgery to it tomorrow so give you a good idea of what it looked like before and we have everything numbered. You guys see that seven, six, five, six, seven right there. We're trying to keep our numbers straight. And we've even labeled our chain plates there just so we don't confuse them. All right. Pulling out here, there's actually a lot of water down there. But let's see what happens when we drill here. Oh, my Lord. Can you get a uh, cup for that? That's the little boy in the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just drilled this and it looked like a lot of water, so uh, we're, we're catching it. Anybody want a cup of tea? Fresh uh, water. Stainless, stainless color. Did it come out like that on the other side? That, the other side got brain holes already. That is... That is a tremendous amount of water coming out of the bottom of that chain plate. And look at all the water down there on the floor. Uh, I'm going to need a... Uh, well, you're going to have to put your finger over it again. And then I'll... Well, it's all the stuff that drained out onto the floor that oh. I need to stop up. Well, well oh, uh, behind you, the bucket. Got some nasty looking water as well. Wow. Wow, I have never. I mean. And this is why they drill holes on the other side. I don't understand why they drill them on this side. Okay, so. The theory is uh, yesterday, as I was looking at this, and we were all trying to figure out how to do and what to do with these bolts uh, because they go to the outside of the rub rail. So Jason removed the stainless 
from the rub rail to see if we had access and did we? No, we did not. No, we did not. So typical Taiwanese do everything the first time and hope that nothing ever has to be worked on. So, um, unfortunately they were wrong. Yeah, they were very wrong. So we came down here and decided that maybe drilling through, well, I was thinking drilling through the stainless and then the guys corrected me and said, no, that won't work. But what may work is to drill around the stainless. Yeah. So our plan is to drill a hole the size of the head of the bolt. Yeah. And that way, the entire bolt, head, everything Goes. should just pull to the inside mm -hmm. and we don't have to remove any of the rubber wrap. Yeah, which would be brilliant. And then we will just simply backfill the hole with epoxy and fiberglass mm -hmm. and we'll be good. Hoping for the best. Okay. After having so, just said all that. <laughs> these, the purpose of the bolts was to hold these to the hole, correct? Yep. So what's going to hold it to the hole now without those bolts? Um, so one of the things I was curious of is whether or not they, um, just it the put a core material in. Well, right. We'll find that out pretty quick. Because if they didn't, uh, we need a core material anyway. We need a core material anyways, in which case we can sleeve it. We'll sleeve it and then put lots of, it will grind it back on the inside and then glass it in place. Right. Uh, what we're trying to do is minimize work later. Well, uh, but the other thing is, is uh, on the teak on the outside, uh, we are going to have to... We'll have to open it up to be able to put new bolts in yeah. at that point. So if we're going to have to open it up anyway, is it easier to just... Well, well another possibility is we uh, <coughs> use uh, drill bits and drill all the way through. And then use the whole saw on the outside. So you do like three or four right. uh, holes so we know exactly where it is and we could drill straight over it and make a perfect hole in the teak. Not a bad option either and you can get teak plugs in any, any, size. any, any size. size. Yeah. Is uh, why did we have our fiberglass peeling up? Is it? Looking at this it looks like it peeled up leaving those big voids. In here? No, the right there. It didn't peel. You don't think that rolled up? No, not at all. Good. Those voids? Yeah. Are because they didn't get the glass all the way down in the first place. Oh, you think they just laid it over? They it? built it that way. They built voids into the system. Yes. Which, for draining, if they put drain holes in it, actually would have been great. But they didn't. Yeah. No, they simply laid the glass over what was there, never got the original layer all the way down, yeah. never backfilled with epoxy or anything else, and therefore you had voids that were there from original, well, that then filled with water, caused crevice corrosion, and now we're pulling chain plugs. Wah, wah, wah. You know, as one does. <laughs> oh, don't you love me now? This beautiful Taiwanese boat I had to have. <laughs> Buy a Taiwanese boat, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> so we paused work a little bit because um, our friend and neighbor, Nika, is getting her boat picked up. Let's see how crazy close everything's feeling over here. It's pretty crazy. close, snug like a bug. Wonderful. But, yeah. Nice. Very snug. <laughs> hey, Jason. 
What have you and I been working on all day? Well, we've been working on getting sunburns. And? and uh, we've not been successful on that, I don't think. No. Uh, good, good thing. Uh, we are currently working on getting the bolts out of the tape place. So she's tapping from the out inside. Yeah, but what's, giving, what's giving you a headache? A loud noises, namely. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, the thing. Oh, well, we have one bolt that, uh, or one screw, I should say, that has decided that it's just does not want to come out. <laughs> and then to make matters worse, the uh, the extractor broke off inside the top of the screw. Yeah, Yikes. that bolt wants to, that screw wants to stay in the boat. It wants to be part of the boat. No. Uh, so we got to figure out a way to grind the head off or something. So we can remove the wood and then remove the rest of the screw. All right. Here, a, a bolt for you. A bolt? A bolt. Ah. Ah. Okay. There you go. Here's another one. This guy is uh, the reason we are tearing apart the tow rail all of these bolts if you're going to redo your uh, chain plates on your slocum 43 you might consider what we're doing here it's um a lot of hard work almost got it it's going the crack here. Yeah. Yeah. Como es? Yeah. We're going to the volcano. <laughs> as out of breath as you can get. Where's Travis? He's coming. Okay. He's coming. Okay. I am out of breath. A lot. It's amazing the patterns though. Hey, you look hey. up. Yeah. He's doing a zigzag. It's probably good. That probably is good. Oh, there you are. Hello. Ah, how do you feel? Oh, good. It's a lovely hike. Oh, I hate you. Ah, uh, yeah. So on our day off, we decided to hike this volcano, Volcan Tacana. The Volcano Tacana is the second highest peak in Central America at 4,060 meters, roughly 13,320 feet located in the Sierra Madre de Chiapas of northern Guatemala and southern Mexico. Did I mention that we're from Flatland of Texas? <laughs> I really don't know what we were thinking to do this on our day off, but here we are. I don't know if we're going to make it. I was just being honest. Ah, look at how far we've already come. Gorgeous views out here today. It's uh, turning into a longer hike than we expected, but uh, uh, looks like break time up here. All right, so where are we? Uh, we are. You're currently in Mexico. You're in Mexico. We're I'm in Guatemala. Guatemala. That's how this works. That's what this is. And those two. We. Yeah. Guatemala. 
Mexico. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check out the next episode as we find out who wins us or the volcano and uh, what it's really like to take on water while you're on the hard. Cheers! Mm -hmm.